Average amount of debt in retirement. It's okay to have some debt. I mean, I if, for those of you who know me, I went in uh, six months into my retirement, I bought this house. So I have a mortgage, but I think it's okay. I moved into an area with rising property values. The property values are pretty low right now, but I plan on keeping it for the long term. And bottom line, it makes me happy. So a little bit of debt's okay. Um, before I get to the actual figures on that, though, here are some statistics about debt that may surprise you regarding seniors. 25% of seniors have mortgages in retirement. Actually, I thought that number would be a little bit higher than that, but it just shows you 25% is still a significant amount. One in four of retirees still have a mortgage. 75% of all retirees have some form of debt. Now, the majority of that will be, you know, credit cards, uh, medical expenses. Um, but even with that, statistics have shown that over time, the longer you go into retirement, the less money you spend. So your expenses generally get lower in retirement. So, you know, there will be some debt, but it's a good news. It's good news that your expenses get lower, right? That always helps. 85% of individuals over six, 65 years old have at least one chronic condition. What does that mean? It's chronic. It may not be serious, but in the vast majority of those cases, you may need medicine. You may need medical help with that chronic condition. What does that increase? Your debt in a lot of cases, <clears throat> excuse me. One in four approaching uh, the last five years of their life are in debt. A lot of those are approaching bankruptcy in the last five years of their life. That's a scary thought. Now, in videos in the past, I've talked about some people have the retirement plan of planning to die with nothing when they're gone, right? For whatever reason, that could be their plan. Now that's tough to do. You know, how do you plan for those unexpected things that come up? But could that be part of this one in four people, you know, that are approaching bankruptcy in the last five years of their life? It might be, might not, but that's a big statistic right there, one in four. Now, the next two are kind of sad. Um, it shows what debt can do to some people if they're worried about their expenses or how much money they, they still have in the, in the bank, you know, in their, in their nest egg. 25% of retirees forego car or home expenses in order to make their money stretch some. That's a big number. Think about it. 25%, one in four. That's a pretty big number. This one's even sadder. Luckily, it's not that, that big of a percentage. 15% of retirees skip meals or they cut pills because they're worried about the money that's going out to debt, just overall expenditures. That's a sad fact. But 15%, luckily, it's not that big a number, but still, it's significant, isn't it? So for you, those of you who are seeing from me for the first time, my name is Dwayne. I retired almost two years ago now. Wow, time goes fast, man. Uh, with about $500,000 in my nest egg. And this channel is about people on moder with moderate income trying to figure out ways to deal with the economy. And uh, just basically retirement in general. If you're thinking about, uh, you know, if you have around that area of moderate income and you're thinking about, uh, you know, wondering how do, how do I get by with just that? Think about subscribing. Also, if you like the video, please like it. And if you really like it, there's a link down below in the description for buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee. Anyway, back to our average retirement debt. So here we go. Here are the big statistics. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll give it to you by uh, generation. So to give us a baseline, let's start with Gen Generation X, which age 41 to 56. Now, the vast majority of these people are probably not retired by now, except those that retired really early, but their average amount of debt, non-mortgage, 
is $33,000. Their average amount of mortgage debt is $245,000, okay? So that just kind of gives us a baseline. So now let's jump to the baby boomers. Age for baby, baby boomers, 57 to 74. The average amount of debt, non-mortgage, that they carry is about $25,000. The average amount of mortgage debt, $190,000. So as we go back to the beginning of the video, I mentioned that 25% of retirees do have a mortgage. There you go. Now, when you're looking at average again, there could be some that have a huge mortgage that are kind of skewing these numbers up a little bit, so keep that in mind. The last uh, cohort we're gonna look at is called the silent generation. Excuse me. Which has always been kind of strange to me. Silent generation, I mean, you have these catchy nicknames, Generation X, Baby Boomers, the Millennials. Couldn't you come up with something better than the silent generation? Anyway, silent generation is 75 years plus. The average amount of debt they have is $13,000. Not too bad, right? Well, you figure by that time, <clears throat> you would hope, you would hope that the vast majority of your debt is only going to be medical expenses. And actually, if you're looking at this, if you, you know, looking at only $13,000, I was expecting maybe a little bit more than that. Not too bad. Average amount of mortgage debt is $160,000. So by this time, you would think that most people would have their home paid off for, right? If they're in their late 70s or in their 80s. But this still shows you there are some people that still have mortgages at that age. So, you know, debt, it kind of ranges, but not too much. It doesn't vary too much based on the age you are in retirement by these statistics. So as I said at the beginning, a little bit of debt, it's not bad to have in retirement. Uh, a home mortgage, not bad to have. I mean, if you had a, got a pretty good interest rate on your mortgage, uh, hopefully you didn't refinance two or three times. As far as credit card debt goes, pay it off monthly. That's what I do. The only debt I have outside my mortgage is credit card debt. I pay that off monthly. I'm using, I put almost everything on my credit card because of rewards. You can get some pretty good deals putting stuff on rewards. So anyway, that is the overall look at debt among retirees. And uh, to my current subscribers, thanks guys. We're uh, past 20,000 subscribers now. We're still going strong. This channel's only been up six months, so we're doing really well. So keep those comments coming. Uh, you know, it's been much better and much faster than I thought it would be. So thank you guys so much. A lot more good info to come. I'm going to be introducing some new stuff pretty soon. Hopefully you like it, but, uh, you know, kind of mix it up a little bit from the usual format that we do. But anyway, guys, just remember, as long as we got our ducks in a row quacking like crazy, we got this.